YouTube, what to do? <laughs> it's your boy. Come on now. Nature came to better, man. Oh. Gaze it, gaze it. Sun gave the soul in the building. Spiritual soul in the building. Never forget that. So, guys. Not gonna lie. After having my spiritual awakening, and I start sun gazing and shit. And I start questioning everything. When I say everything, everything. Yo, I feel like. Every, yo, certain things like when I when I question, I just get a bubble feeling inside. You check, cause to be honest, that's why I be telling you know, when you sun gaze, your perception on life, the way how you perceive things, it changes up. It changes naturally, naturally. Beach dog, you think? Early one with with the dog. Beach yo, it's like. Yo, let me tell you what I be thinking. So when I look up in the sky on a serious note, it don't. Yo, okay. I feel like Earth is flat, dog. Honestly, that's how I'm seeing it. When I look up in the sky, yes, I can see like we're in a dome, like you know. Earth is flat, but then when you look up in the sky and you see the atmosphere, I can legit see that there is, uh, yo, something be. Kind of, when I say something like the next layer, you, I can't explain, yo. Okay, there's clothes right here, and then there's one right. You, I can see the layers. It don't feel like it's wrong to me, though. Because what if, remember, question everything. What if that's how they wanted us to view Earth? Guys? I'm the same, because every time my question is, I just get this bubble feeling. So now I'm wondering, what if? I mean, you've never seen Earth. You've never seen Mars, but you've seen it on television, though. You check? And nobody never really questioned these things. Yo, yo, you see? That's what I'm saying. Everybody just keep, yo, people to believe things or just go with things without even questioning it, though. And they just sit down with that comfort. Like, for, yo, right now, for me, I, it, I, I question everything, though. It feels, yo, because none of this will make sense to me, you check? When I look up in the sky, I don't view it like how certain people may view it. It, it feels different to me. Coming like one of those episodes in The Simpsons when they had the episode with the 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 whole tri-state in a, in a um in a dome. That's how I feel Earth is up. You see? Ain't no heaven up there. I know hell underneath your foot. That's bullshit. <laughs> you create your own heaven or hell. If you want life to be amazing, you can. You can do whatever that makes you happy. Though. But you can't just go along with the flow with everything. You check? They're higher heads. Man. That's why they just play. They're higher heads. They want you to believe a certain way to keep you in fear so they can keep making money. You check? That's why certain people sell this so because they, they want, they want, you check? And you're not supposed to want, because when you want, you're, you're telling the universe that, I'm going to advance right now, ooh. <laughs> but yeah, when you want, you're telling the universe, you're telling the divine that you, you're you lack, you check? You're showing scarcity. You're not supposed to scarcity because you have everything, you check? It starts with the mindset. If you start living in the present moment and appreciating the present moment, what you desire, what would change your life for the better, whether if it's money. Trust me, you can ask the universe for money. Everybody thinks that, that money is something bad. You need you need money to, to have a you know a, a, way, a certain level of freedom if you want to travel the world. You have to pay bills, you have to take care of all that type of shit. So why would money be bad? You check? It's just the way how you, you've been programmed out. The divine the creator doesn't like poverty. Poverty is a disease. Everybody should be rich. Everybody should be living like a like a king or a queen or a god or a goddess. You check, I'm a god. Differently. Because God is me. I am it. We are all one. There's no there's no separation. Everybody we are a reflection of ourselves, you check. Who is it? Whoever your circle is, they are a reflection of you. Hence where you can tell where you're going down in the next five years. You check. Look at your friends and, and question it. 
And if you're the smartest out in that circle, then you need to bounce from, you need to be around people that push you and motivate you to become a better version of yourself or to achieve something in life, right? It's not the regular, regular guys that be doing the same shit every day, every day. I'm just be hoping and hoping and hoping, right? The present moment is everything. You check, but for me, the spiritual awakening, I'm seeing things differently now. You check, I'm seeing the signs. I know for a fact I'm not the only person that's seeing the signs. You check. I promise you see the signs, everything will get better for you. You check. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep chasing your goals. But I question everything. Right now, the clothes don't. It's like what this clothes here and then this clothes there. And if I can look beyond the clothes, you check. You have to look beyond it. On a spiritual awakening, everything becomes different. Your view up, everything is changing. Right? Everything. And, what, and trust me, it's, it's, yo, when you when you can be by yourself and just feel happy, and you can and you just keep making your vibration rises, keep loving nature, keep connecting with nature, put down the phone for a minute. Enjoy the present moment. You, you, you would want to be around certain people though. Because they're going to be fucking with your vibration. You see? Once you start taking care of yourself, you will see. Keep telling you guys to meditate. Just keep meditating. Trust me, you would gain, you would gain from meditation. Certain people have natural abilities. When you meditate, they become stronger, you check? I can feel when people are lying to me. Yo, that's why I don't like to talk much now, you check? I just be silent and I could feel, I could feel if you're lying to me. I can tell if you're lying to me. Sometimes when I look at people, I, man, I feel I could read their back. There are. And it, it has happened before. And trust me, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. You feel that way for a reason. That happened to you for a reason. You check, there's no such thing as a coincidence. The universe, the divine, he puts you in places to either for you to learn, either for you to get the message, for you to change. Because if you don't if you don't get the message, it's gonna keep coming and coming. It's gonna keep coming and coming until you learn the lesson or until you you check past it, the test, whatever it is. It's all in the mind, though. But yeah, that was just a quick rant. On the beach, taking in some sun, grounding myself in nature, absorbing that energy, setting my intentions for the week. Monday, we gonna grind for the money, baby. We gonna get it. Yeah, that's how we roll. Set intentions for the week and stick by it. Keep moving, keep grinding. You check. Keep better yourself. The only the only competition you should be in is with yourself. It, every day you should try to be a better version than yesterday. Let's put it that way. So you should be your only competition, not with anybody else. You check. The energy you want, just the energy that you want to attract in life, whatever you want to attract in life, be it, think it, act like it, and it will come. Just, just keep on living in the present moment. Don't think too far ahead until you start losing track of the present moment. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of what you're doing, right? I can do this, but I'm aware of my surroundings. I'm aware of my thoughts. I know what I think. You have to be programmed in your mind. That's the same because if you think in a negative way, obviously, negative things are going to be coming in your life. You're going to be attracting negative people, so, yeah, you know. So that's why I like to be in nature, because it makes me be relaxed. And, yeah, my, my, I think different, on a regular, but nature is peaceful, so. Nature kids sign up, man. Make sure you guys drink your water, though. See your thing, drink water. Meditate. Let's get this shit together. Yeah. Sign up, man. Peace.